All right. So while I'm waiting for my dinner to cool down, let's see what Tara brought me. She brought me a whole big box of freshly fired kiln work. Let's see what we got here. All stuff that I made in December and fired in January. Okay, looks like a little coffee cup. Nice little serene little teacup. You're having your little chamomile tea. And, you know, you're relaxing. And then, wha bam That's my wha bam cup. So that's nice. So we got that. All right, what's this? This is... Oh yes, this is an oil flask. This is the ceramic part. You'll put the, the cloth wick in the top. This is a Dungeons and Dragons thing. This isn't for real. And, um, you know, when you were playing Dungeons and Dragons when you were in fourth grade, uh, so oil engraved in it, and then here you have engraved in it, Lobbeth at the Goblins! Exclamation point. So... The contents of the flask here, and then the instructions on the back. So that's that's a good one. I like that one. Let's see what else we got here. Aha! Well, that came out a little more orange than red. I really wanted this to be red, but it's pretty good. So here you see I engraved in um, runic uh, script. So the runes. But this is um, an adaptation of Runic Script from uh, the Ultima game series, if any of you remember Ultima. Uh, so um, Richard Garriott, who did the Ultima series, I guess adapted the Runic Script. And it says, uh, this is a K-looking one, is actually a P. Uh, that's a A symbol... So it says, I forget what I wrote here. It says, oh, I see what it says. It's K E N Penum. Yeah, K E N U M B R A S. So it's Penumbras. Penumbra was a character in the Ultima 6 iteration of the game. She was a, a sorceress, uh, P-O-T-I-O-N-S. So it's Penumbra's Potions. So that is, that is what this is, is a potion bottle from the Ultima series. At least that's why I intended it to be. Here, let's line these up for you guys here so you can see them all while I go after the next one. This is like Christmas. Thank you, Tara. This is like Christmas. Now, this one, okay. So this one, I took a kind of a cup vase looking shape. And then what I did was I took a, um, a guide. I forget what they call it. But anyway, it has, it was a pattern. It had a piece of wood that had little uh, scalloped edges in it and points. So as the wheel was going around when it was still wet, made circles all the way around and then I decided to uh, do a multicolor theme uh, in each of the varying uh, gradations so that turned out pretty nicely and I left the the um, natural color on the inside of the glass but that's that would be a nice drinking vessel it's pretty nice pattern not too deep no, no real deep meaning on that one that was more of just a, a pattern Ah, this, this is great. This looks like a potion vial to me. So that's a nice blue. It's got a little bit of a bleed and the yellow lip, but that's okay. I kind of like that. And then a red. I don't know if you can see the red interior. But yeah, that's red. I don't have a flashlight here handy, but um, yeah, I like that. It's cute. I love that little shape. That held up really well, too, actually. And it didn't crack. Looks like this will hold water. So they'll hold liquid. So if you make any love potions, you can just put that in there. All right, let's see what else is in the box. Oh my gosh, there's so many things in here. 
I forget what I made. Oh, here's another potion vial. Okay. And again, the uh, runic script, although it's painted on this time. And I think I also said P E N mm, Penumbra's potions. Oh, this is the actual runic script, though. This is actual, like, Norse runes, not the adapted ones. So I wrote Penumbra's potions on this one. And it's kind of purplish in nature. And uh, it's got a big, uh, nice big scar on the bottom there where I was cutting off. And uh, well, it looks a little rustic. So I'll put that one back there. That'll be a nice, nice one. Nice gifts for someone, perhaps, in my Dungeons and Dragons clan. Ooh, here's one. Okay, so this was an experiment. I painted... Um, painted this pot and uh, underglaze and then I wrote on top of it in the underglaze pencil and as you can see this experiment did not did not work uh, so what it said was I don't have to do anything but I get to do everything and uh, that's a nice I love that message uh, hang on one second my alarm's going off So that was what you call a failed experiment. Uh, so at least now I know that the underglazed pencil is going to bleed or fade into the, um, the underglazed paint. So we won't attempt that again. In fact, it's kind of a... This didn't, this didn't turn out well at all. But, you know, sometimes that happens. This, this turned out great. This same underglazes just didn't turn out very good. All right, what else we got left? Ooh, okay, so this is my Klingon cup. I was doing an experiment with this shape, basically. Um, the shape of like a, I forget what they call those cups, but they're, they're, um, they drink the blood wine out of them at the different ceremonies. So this is just black. You can get a, I was thinking about doing a silver rib around it, but this is the smallest of them. And that turned out great, and it's, it fits your hand perfectly. It's nice and solid too. Nice. So that turned out wonderful. Very happy with that. And let's see. Oh, there's one left. One left, guys. Oh, okay. So this is the white counterpart of that shape. So here's the black. Sorry, the black shape, and then the the white one. So. That's more like a drinking vessel. This one would be more like a soup bowl or maybe even a vase. But I really like the symmetry. This one came out really nice. Uh, and uh, yeah, and it has a message on the bottom. I wrote, I, I inscribed here, it said, uh, done is better than perfect. So, uh, so there's a little inspirational message on the bottom of this pot. And I think on the bottom of this one, I... Oh no, it's not this one. There's another one that I did in this style, and I think it has the Klingon word kapla, which means basically success. So these will probably be part of a set. I'll probably sell those together. These two are kind of counterparts of each other, two little guys, and maybe even this one. And this one I'm going to use as my teacup, I think, because I really like that. So. I'll do another video on the explanation of the Wabam. And then this is my D&D &D collection. And this is a, an experiment. And this is a saleable piece, I think. So all in all, pretty good. Pretty good success, I think. Uh, thank you, Tara, for pulling this stuff out of the kiln and bringing it home. Um, if any of you uh, have any questions about any of these pieces, put them in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos about my, art, my artwork, uh, go ahead and subscribe. And i uh, love to have you comment on it. And uh, if, you, of course, you want to buy anything, please let me know. Um, sell to you cheap. So, all right. That's, that's the, the latest kiln load. And uh, you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And keep, keep your heads up. Thanks.